me, Glenn and I, Nell, are going to pitch to you a mobile game. And I know you. I know you need some space on your phone for the selfies, okay? But the, the, you can you can find space for both. We can make this happen, okay? <laughs> okay. So, um, Glenn, why don't you go first? See if you can win Jay Ann over. And by the way, by the sounds of it, if you've got any, if there are any microtransactions in your game, then I think it's already curtains. But anyway, <laughs> off you go. no. I, I, so in my head. There's two different kinds of mobile games, and there's like the the cheap knockoff ones, which are the ones that have microtransactions, and those are the ones you see advertised before YouTube videos, and you sort of yeah. go, "This looks like a virus." And then you've got <laughs> other ones. You've got other ones that feel like uh, like I, for, so. Stefan has said these don't count. That I was going to say, like I really like using my phone for ports of really old games, so like the old Final Fantasy games. I played Chrono Trigger on my phone, or stuff like Walking Dead, Wolf Among Us, that sort of thing. But the one I yes. decided I really want to go for. Uh, is 80 days. Basically, it is just around the world in 80 days, and it's mostly text-based. And you start off in England, and you've got to go all the way around the world and back to England again. And so in every city you end up in, uh, it gives you like three options. And it's like, right, you can take the boat to Paris, that's going to cost you £80. Uh, you can get a train to Cambridge and try and get a flight from there. So that's only going to cost £5, but the flight's very expensive. You can try and take a ship uh, to like Morocco, and that's a lot cheaper, but it's going to take ages. And then every place you end up in, you've then got to like hang around for a few days until your next flight, until your next train, until your next car hire or whatever. You can either go to a hotel, but that's quite expensive. You can try and sleep rough, which means it's cheaper, but you end up feeling horrible. It's and you're trying like to do admin, it. Glenn. It's, it's, it's an admin. Old, Stefan, you know what I was going to say. It's an admin based game the whole thing is admin stressful. it's so stressful but it's so so fun because eventually what happens is you can do it in like an hour or so and then by the time you get round the what tells you how many days you've done it in and I know I'm coming across as sad as hell but it's really good it's so good I cannot sell this game enough the it's so good the three of us are just sitting here cackling it's so good I've never you lost is... me in hostels Glenn I'm not going to you know what <laughs> Sleeping on the street. Yeah, that's that B and B. It's like, nah, I'm out, you know. Yeah, exactly. Basically, it's just, it's all the stress of backpacking without the sightseeing. Is what I've just realised. What if Prague was text? But like, it's. Trust me, I've never, I've never sold a game so badly. As soon as he said, like, um, you know, you can go to Budapest on this money. In my mind, I was like, you're making me budget. I that's don't it. It's a budget game. It's no, it's budget. so good. It, the management budgeting side is like one half of it, and the other half is the conversations you have with sort of companions along the way and the person you're travelling with, which okay. means that that sort of forms a relationship there. So it's a bit more like sort of RPG-based. There's a story in that to it. There is yeah. a story to it, yeah. And it changes every time based on which country you end up oh. in and stuff like that. This uh, is Glenn, it, oh, Jay weird. sounds nearly interested now. So I think <laughs> we're fair, making you progress. You should have led me right? that story stuff. That sounds really <laughs> yeah, intriguing. You, you, you should have flipped sounds, it. You went admin yeah. first, story second. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. Instead, I've gone sort of like, right, first off, let's talk capacity. It's three gig. It's, yeah. <laughs> BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts.